Well, the chances of survival in children being born preterm at 22 weeks is only around 10%, but one Odessa boy not only survived early birth, he's now a patient at the Permian Basin Rehab Center where he's thriving. Alex Camerata introduces you to Jackson Williamson. Hey, nice step. Nice step. Good job. Good job. Jackson, Four year old Jackson Williamson loves having some fun. One, two, three. Yes, good snack. He's a little spitfire. He's so much fun and energetic. And he, I love his giggle. I love his giggle. It just makes my day better. Come on, get some air. Get some air. Get some air. Jackson was born preterm at 22 weeks, a rarity for children to survive being born that early. When children are born significantly that early, they usually always have um, delays in development just because they weren't given time to develop in their mother. And he really struggled um, to breathe because his lungs weren't developed at that time, which again causes a lot of developmental issues. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Good job. Jackson has been coming to the Permian Basin Rehab Center since April of last year, where he's been working weekly to make major improvements. The biggest progress that I've seen with him is whenever I first got him, he was super shy, super backward. Um, the first time that I went and got him from mom for a treatment, he actually cried. So I just wanted to leave him with mom. He broke my heart. Um, but he's a lot more energetic, he's a lot more playful, a lot more social, and a lot more interactive. It's been an uphill climb, though, recently for Jackson. He underwent a tracheostomy procedure, and doctors are waiting until flu season is over before they fully repair the trach location. I did start noticing that he gets short of breath easily. Um, it's harder for him to keep going without breaks, and it does cause a, a little bit of a struggle to do, I guess, things that he would normally do that would not bother him at all. So that's something that we just um, adapt to as is and kind of take a little bit more breaks maybe in a session but continue to do all the fun things he likes to do continue to work towards goals that we've set but we just might have to do that in a little different timeline nice job with each visit to the rehab center jackson is slowly achieving those goals one piece at a time they're they're doing fantastic with him here like i said i mean there's he's shown a, a whole bunch of progress with you know being able to uh just kind of handle itself as as you would expect a child to as far as you know physicality and stuff like that goes and uh you know they've they have made a lot of progress here uh in a short amount of time that he's been here jackson's physical and occupational therapist paula diffie and madison campbell are eager to see the leaps that he'll continue to take in the future well recently um he's really shown a lot of progress in his ability to jump um before he was kind of unwilling to jump, scared to jump. He would just keep feet on the ground. And now he's more willing to try new things, um, discover new new toys, new activities, and it just lights up his face. Ooh, that was a good yellow. I would love to see Jackson writing a little more. That's my biggest thing with him. So like I said, we're working on a lot of upper extremity strength and finger strength and things like that. And I think once he gets, you know, builds up a little more like intrinsic finger strength, then he'll be able to write. So I think he definitely has a capability too. For Jackson's family, bringing their son to the rehab center was tough at first, but the entire process has been a blessing. We, we held on to our faith and uh, we had just prayers coming in from all around, and uh, I'm just so proud to be his dad.